should Christians set goals? Let's talk about it. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are. So we are coming upon a new year, um, and I know that some of us are, um, I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure uh, some of us have set goals for ourselves um, and um, throughout uh, conversations of you know goal setting and you know uh, with Christians I have heard some say that you know I don't set goals I don't make plans because because the Holy Spirit is is with me and he's dwelling inside of me and I just I listen to the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will guide me into what to do. Well, I'm here to tell you that setting goals is biblical. Making plans is biblical and God wants us to uh, set and make plans and goals in our lives. So our first thing, let's just go over and discuss if setting goals is biblical. So let's go to Luke 14, 28. It said, but don't begin until you count the cost. For who would begin construction of a building without first calculating the cost to see if there's enough money to finish? Otherwise, you might complete only the foundation before running out of money. And then everyone would laugh at you. They would say, there's the person who started that building and couldn't afford to finish it. His. He's saying, if you want to be a disciple, first count the cost. Think about it first. You know, how are you going to plan it out? Think about uh, the consequences or think about uh, the actions that you would have to take or what you would go through to become a disciple of Christ. So here he's saying, would a man just uh just have the foundation or just have the money for the foundation of a building or would he first he should first what think and count of the cost before he starts to build the build the building you just and if you only have enough money for the foundation then it wouldn't make sense to start to build that building. So he's saying first you got to count the cost. First you have to plan it out of what you're going uh, to do or how you are going to uh, accomplish your goal, right? And in Proverbs 21st chapter, 5th verse, it said, Good planning and hard work leads to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. So here we see... Here's just a few examples that setting goals and having plans is biblical. So uh, what is the first step into setting our goals and making plans? Well, the first step is to what? Gain godly wisdom, to seek God first before we set our goals so that God can guide you and lead you uh, through your goals um, and your goal setting. So let's go to Matthew the 6th chapter in the 33rd verse and it reads Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. We need to seek God first in our goals and everything that we do so that he will provide us with what we need in order to set these goals in order to accomplish these goals. The 127th division of Psalm, the first verse, and it says, Unless the Lord builds a house, the work of the builders is wasted. Unless the Lord protects a city, guarding it with centuries will do no good. So, unless the Lord uh, guides you in your goal setting, and unless your, your goals are or godly and have God in it, uh, they will more than likely not succeed. They will not succeed. So 
we have to, uh, to make sure that we go to the Lord first in everything. Let's go also to James, the first chapter. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. So if you need wisdom, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord for everything in your goal setting and in, in everything. Seek God and you will gain great wisdom and godly wisdom while one, setting your goals and while uh, accomplishing or trying to accomplish your goals. Now, uh, there may be times in which we are uh, trying to pursue our goals and trying to accomplish our goals or in the process of accomplishing our goals. And there may be times in which we may make it tired. There may be times in which we feel unmotivated. Um, but we have to push through and we have to persevere through um, through these times, you know, with the Lord's help. So let's go to Proverbs, the sixth chapter, the sixth through the eleventh verse, and it reads: Take a lesson from ants, you lazy bones. Learn from their ways and become wise. Though they have no prince or governor or ruler to make them work, they labor hard all summer, gathering food for the winter. But you, lazy bones, how long will you sleep? When will you wake up? A little extra sleep, a little more slumber, a little more folding of the hands to rest. Then poverty will pounce on you like a bandit. Scarcity will attack you like an armed robber. And also, uh, second... Second Chronicles, uh, the 15th chapter and the 7th verse. But as for you, be strong and courageous, for your work will be rewarded. So here he's saying, uh, we can rest. We can rest for a little while. There will be times in which, in which we need to rest. You know, we need to rest our minds and we need to regroup or we need to get our energy back. But... Don't be lazy and don't don't uh, uh, don't take too much time and and you have to put a, a hard work into what you're doing. You can't be uh, lazy about it. He's saying, you know, just like the ants, like they gather their things, um, you know, uh, they gather their food and what they need during the winter time so that they can have it during the summertime. So they're they're being smart about it. When we set plans and set goals and, and make goals, we have to continue to show show that we have faith in God, right? We do it because our faith is increased. We do it and we set goals of because we because we trust God and our goals. We have to trust God and realize that He is the one. We have to realize that He will provide what we need to accomplish these goals. Um, so let's go to Proverbs, the third chapter, uh, the fifth through the sixth verse. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. And also, um, let's go to, to Philippians, the fourth chapter in the eighth verse. And it says, and now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true, honorable, and right, and pure, and lovely, and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Jeremiah 17, 7 through 8. But blessed, but blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. They are like trees planted along a riverbank with roots, roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by
by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. Our faith, our trust in the Lord, seeking God in all that we do and seek God when we set these goals and seeking God when we uh, set out to accomplish these goals, seeking God and trusting in God that things will uh, uh, work out for our benefit. Amen. So we have to also remember, and our last point is that, my last point is we also have to remember, my last point is that we also have to remember that God is in control. God is the maker and God is in control. Um, we trust in God, right? We make the plans, but God is in control. So let's go to, I'm sorry, James, the fourth chapter, the 13th through the 15th. Look, here you will say today or tomorrow we are going to do a, we're going to a certain town and we'll stay there a year. We will do business there and make a profit. How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like a morning fog. It's here for a little while, then it's gone. What you ought to say, if, if the Lord wants us to, we will live like this. We will live or do this or that. So we have to understand that God is in control. There's no manifesting. There's no uh, trying to speak things into existence. There's no declaring or, or, or you know, um, um, decreeing that, you know, God is going to do this or, uh, you know, I will do this. I will do that and I will I will make this amount of money I will have this goal I will reach this goal there's none of that we have we can make make the plans but we have to understand that God is in control God is in control um, we say I'm gonna make this plan I'm gonna tr you know I want to set out f uh, for this goal I want to set out for this goal I'm gonna make this goal but God is in control and if the uh, the the goal, if you don't accomplish the goal, then what? We know that everything will work out for the good of those who love the Lord and for His purpose. So there could be a lesson learned that we can learn from if we don't accomplish these goals at the time that we want to. Is you know. We have to just trust in God and realize that He is in control and that things will happen on His time, which is the best time. Proverbs 16, 9 says, we can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. As I said, so we have to, uh, we can set goals as Christians and we should set goals as Christians, whether they're, they're financial goals, professional goals whether they're spiritual goals, or whether they're personal goals, uh, whether they're family goals, um, whatever your goal is or your plan is, seek God first and make sure that they, or try your best and pray to God and go to God and make sure that they are goals of godly wisdom, right? So we can definitely make goals. Now, um, we could definitely set goals. Um, there may be a detour in our plans or in our goals, but we still trust God that he will guide us in the right path. Amen. Um, this should be our main goal as Christians to, to reach and be in the kingdom with Christ, um, uh, to be in the Lord's kingdom. That's our goal. Our goal is to please God and to spread his word and uh while on earth that's that should be our goal our main goal so um should christians set goals most definitely is it biblical most definitely so
that's all I wanted to share for today. I pray everyone has a blessed and safe new year. And I just uh, pray that um, more souls come to Christ and um, that uh, we just have a blessed year uh, filled with um, goals accomplished. But more, but, but more, I pray that uh, we uh, seek Christ more in everything that we do. Amen. God bless you.